Unit 3. Diversity and Adaptation in Living Organisms Lesson 2. Adaptation and Diversity of Living Organisms Organisms Diversity Reasons The most important reasons that led to the living organisms diversity in order to cope with the environmental changes such as climatic change, food diversity, existence of water. Example 1. Camel's limbs. Camel pad ends in a thick flat one to enable the camel wandering through the hot desert sands. The second example, horse's limbs. Horse hoof ends in a strong solid end to help the horse go through the rocky soil. Adaptation. It is a modification of a living organism's behavior, body structure, or organs' biological functions to become more adapted to the environmental conditions which it lives in. Types of adaptation. Structural or anatomical adaptation, functional adaptation, and finally, behavioral adaptation. Structural or anatomical adaptation it is an adaptation that studies the structure of one body organ. Examples the horse hoof structure, the camel pad structure. Functional adaptation. It is an adaptation of some organs and tissues to do a specific function. Examples Secreting sweat in humans in case of high temperature. Secreting poison in snakes. Behavioral adaptation. It is an adaptation in the activity of some animals in different times of the daylight. Examples Birds migration at certain times of the year. The second example is activity of birds during the daylight and bats at night. These two examples are examples for behavioral adaptation. Adaptation and motion in mammals. Mammal, such as whale. Modification in its limb, the two forelimbs of whales, dolphins, and sea lions are modified to become paddles or fin-like structure. Aim of modification, to perform the function of swimming and diving in water. Type of adaptation, structural adaptation. The second example is bat. Modification in its limbs. The two four limbs are modified into two wing like structures. Aim of modification to perform the function of flying. Type of adaptation structural adaptation. The third example horse. Modification in its limbs. Its limbs are modified to end with a strong hoof. Aim of modification. To perform the function of running on the rocky soil. Type of adaptation. Structural adaptation. The fourth example is monkey and gorilla. Modification in its limbs. The bones of the four limbs and fingers are elongated. Aim of modification to enable it to climb trees and catch things. Type of adaptation structural adaptation. Adaptation and nature of food in birds. The first example is predatory birds such as hawks and vultures. Modification in its beak and leg. Beaks, 
they have strong and sharp crook beaks to tear the prey's flesh. Legs, they have four fingers, ending with strong and sharp claws, three interior fingers and one posterior finger, to form pounds the prey. Type of adaptation, structural adaptation. The second example, birds feed on shallow water worms, such as heron and papoise. Modification in its beak and legs. Beaks, they have long thin beak to pick up worms and snails. Legs, they have long thin legs, ending in thin fingers to walk in the existence of water. Type of adaptation, structural adaptation. The third example, birds which feed on mosses and fish or what is called water birds such as dogs and gays. Modification in its beak and leg. Beaks, they have white indented beaks in the two sides to help them filter the food from water. Legs, they have palm legs to help in swimming. Type of adaptation, structural adaptation. Adaptation in insectivorous plants or insect eating plants. As you can see, what's meant by insectivorous plants? They are self feeding or autotrophic green plants. This is because they can perform a photosynthesis process. But they can't make proteins because they can't absorb the nitrogenous substances needed to make proteins from the soil. So some parts of these plants are adapted and modified to pounce and digest the insects, then absorb the nitrogen substance that their bodies need. Examples Dionia, as you can see this is the Dionia plant catching an insect. The second example is Durocera, also catching an insect to absorb nitrogen from it. The final example is Halophilia. This is the end of lesson 2. Thanks for watching.